Hi guys, today we are going to talk about how to use ClickUp Sprints. So let's get started. Before anything else, I would just like to give you a brief overview of what ClickUp Sprints are. So Sprint ClickUp actually allows you to create and organize your folders accordingly and to ensure or to make use of this application, basically you need to Make sure that there's an admin or you're an admin of the account. Okay, now let's get started. Here, to start off, of course, we need to sign in to our ClickUp accounts at app.clickup.com. After we've signed in, you'd be routed to this page, basically. And we just go to the side bar. In the lower left hand corner you can see workspace here in the workspace section all we need to do is to look for spaces here now let's click on spaces and it will route you to this page once you've been routed to this page you can see the different kinds of information that is being shown for instance owner shared who you share it with status and click apps and the required views so since we are looking for sprint here all we need to do is to look for the arrow button the arrow button is the sprint button so let's click on that one now it will give us this option all right now we are going to just leave it as is but if you want to turn on all click apps, then you could also do so. That's totally fine. But we need to focus on our sprint in here. So for sprints, you can see that there is a broken underline. Let's, that's default settings. We just need to click on that one. And it will route us to a different page. Okay, now once we routed, we can see here the default sprint settings. However, if this does not show up, we just need to scroll down a bit and look for sprint. Okay, here you go. There. Okay, sprints. Now for sprints, you can create sprints as list to track progress of your production cycle. Now, we have three options in here. First option is to enable custom sprint duration beta. So here we can see a warning. This feature is in beta. Once turned on, there will be no way to switch it back on. So if you want to just custom enable the custom sprint, then you can click confirm. But if not, then just click cancel. As for me, I wouldn't like to enable this one. So I'll just say cancel then right now we have the spaces so it's either you disable or you enable the space now of course in order for us to utilize the sprint app i would like to use it with a space so i leave this as is i wouldn't click disable at all now moving on to our last option or underline we can see here the default sprint settings which we saw a while ago as we were clicking on the default settings of sprint so in here you can actually have the sprint duration the sprint duration allows you to edit or to set how many weeks you would like to finish the task so as for me i'd like to put it four weeks All right next is you can see a rectangular violet rectangular box in there so this one is only available to business plan users and this box allows you to automatically mark sprints as completed once the end date is reached regardless of open tasks within the sprint since we are only a free user we cannot utilize this part of our settings now moving on we can also choose the sprint start date. So this one 
we can actually see the days of the week. And I would like to start my task on every Mondays. All right, so I chose Monday. Now, we have here the sprint estimations. So basically, it's your choice whether you would choose points, time estimates, or custom field. So in custom fields, you can actually customize it, uh, add or edit a field. But as for me, I would like to um, have my sprint estimates with time estimates. All right. Now moving on, you can see here our sprint name. Our sprint name includes the index, the start date, and the end, end date. So basically, we are going to move on to our next part, which is the date format. Your sprint name is can be seen actually in your sprint folder. Okay. Now here with the date format, I would like to have this year, month, date format. So there you have it. So note these are the, the default settings for sprint and won't be edit, editable once saved. You can always customize sprints further on the folder level sprint settings. So since I would like to make use of this, we can just have the save settings in here. Since we cannot save that one, uh, let's just edit this one for three weeks and we can save it up. Okay. All right. Now let's go back to our spaces. All we need to do is to go to our sprint folder. Okay. In spaces, there is the plus icon button and there are diff different types of options that you can choose from. So I go to sprint folder. Okay. There we can see our sprint folder. All right, and then we save the settings. Okay, now in our sprint folder. Okay, now for our space, we have here one task. All we need to do is click on that one or the plus button beside it, the file A, B, C, D. And then we can see Sprint in here. Once we click on Sprint, so we can select the dates for your first Sprint. So as for me, I would like to start it on March 13. All right, how many Sprints do you want to create? Um, I want to create, for example, four Sprints. Okay. So now let's create it. Okay, now let's open this one. And we can see here that four sprints has been created. Now let's go to sprint number one. In sprint number one, you can actually input the task that you need to do in that specific sprint or in that specific week. Now, this one the sprint button below it beside it rather we can see here our sprint settings which we have saved a while ago also you can manually um, put your progress in progress or you could also mark it as done okay so i hope that you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching guys and that's it for today.